everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Brittany and if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos I do focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle so if that seems like something that you may be interested in please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content of course also if you're already a subscriber go ahead and click on that notification bell I upload twice a week Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes I'll put out a bonus video on Sunday so I don't want you to miss any of them today I have a luxury accessories haul for you all today and I don't think that I've ever just done accessories like luxury accessories on my channel so this should be interesting um, I've picked up some jewelry and I also picked up some shoes and a couple of handbags so if you are interested in seeing what I got then stick around so before we get into the accessories that I picked up I did receive some luxury jewelry from Atalo and you guys know I have worked with Atalo before and I absolutely love Atalo's jewelry you guys my eternity bands that you see me wearing all the time they're from Atalo. I literally wear these every single day of my life and I have a couple of other pieces these earrings that I'm wearing today. I've had these for a while and I love these as well. So I love Atalo because they are very affordable and they offer fine jewelry. You guys know if you've been following me for a little bit I have really been into investing in my jewelry pieces getting away from costume pieces and Atalo is the perfect place to start. So the way that Atalo is able to offer affordable fine jewelry is because the pieces that you see me wearing a lot of pe people think that these eternity bands are diamonds but they're not they offer white sapphires as a substitute for diamonds and all of their jewelry pieces are set in sterling silver so I absolutely love that you still get the real gems and you also get a real metal but it is not something that um, will fade over time of course you know that sterling silver does kind of tarnish but you can just wipe that clean with the cloth and you do receive cloths so absolutely love us hollow let's go ahead and get into the pieces that I received they actually sent me two boxes so one of the cool things about a tallow is that obviously it comes like a present you know we all love that and it has like a magnetic closure on the box love that and with every single purchase you will receive your certificate just like as if you were buying diamonds um, it has all of the information on here for your jewelry item you'll also receive um, a cleaning cloth like I mentioned um, for your silver which is just in here and yeah let's go ahead and and get into it so here is the first item that I picked up these are a pair of sapphire earrings set in sterling silver you guys I was on the hunt for just a realistic pair of nice sizable diamond earrings okay but obviously for something of this size I believe these are like a carat each obviously you're gonna pay thousands of dollars especially for the clarity and these sparkle so nice you guys like the sparkle and shine on these earrings are absolutely phenomenal okay so I do want to wear um, studs sometimes in my last hole I have three holes in my ear well several holes in my ear but three main holes and so I picked these up to wear in my main hole. Little did I know my mom was going to surprise me with these right here. So these are real diamond earrings um, for my second hole. So I really like the graduation that I'm getting. So, so sidebar, these are the earrings that I already own, obviously. So I have the princess cut diamond at the top. Then I have the ones that my mom recently gifted me, um, which is a round diamond. These are half a carat in my second hole. And then I can put these in my last hole. So it's going to be a nice little graduated gradient effect. Love that. So I cannot wait to wear these, you guys. I mean, like once you get your hands on these, you'll definitely be able to tell that these are amazing quality earrings. And again, the shine and sparkle on these is just unbeatable, especially for the price. So I absolutely love these. Cannot wait to wear them. I could have wore them today, but obviously I wanted to present them in the box for you guys. So the next piece that I picked up is this really pretty dainty infinity necklace and I don't have a lot of silver necklaces in my wardrobe I'm really like a gold girl you guys know that but when I do wear um you know more of my silver pieces or just more cool tone clothing I do want a dainty necklace I have a couple that my boyfriend purchased me that are diamonds but I really like this little infinity sign these have been around for years and I've just never had one so I'm excited to have this one so pretty you guys I mean 
it sparkles like I said like no other it is just no comparison and I love the drop on this let me pull it out for you guys so as you can see this hits so perfectly on my neck it is like the perfect little necklace that you can wear every single day and I just love the fact that I can shower in this I can sleep in it and I don't have to worry about it changing colors on me so absolutely love this little necklace again cannot wait to wear her so the next few pieces i have are rings you guys know how obsessed i am with rings i wear rings every single day and for some reason i really do like the way diamonds sit against white gold or silver as you can see but i did pick up this trio so i have some gold pieces in here and then i also have of course another eternity band the cool thing about this Eternity Band, you guys, oh, the shine, first of all, and then it has like spaces in between the diamonds or the sapphires. I just thought that that looked so nice. I actually had my eye on a diamond ring um, and it was going to cost me about $2,000 or more. And the diamonds were smaller than these white sapphires. So I absolutely love this ring so much. You can wear this as a thumb ring or you can wear it on your middle finger or stack it. Perfect for stacking, um, which of course is why we have this trio and then of course the other two pieces are gold with the sapphires in there now when they have the gold jewelry it's still sterling silver but it is gold plated on top of that so just keep that in mind and this gold is like a I would say it's like a yellow gold but I like the fact that I now have some eternity bands that have gold because I don't have any like that so absolutely obsessed with this trio I'm going to stack them wear them together wear them separately um, it's just a really nice trio to have I highly recommend this one and the last piece that I got guys oh my goodness it is this gorgeous ring here I love this ring. I'm obsessed with this ring literally so it has like the eternity band it's a lot going on with this piece the eternity band then you get your pair your little small pair diamond and then it has the halo around it and you also get an emerald cut gemstone along with that halo on top of that as well this looks so good you can wear this on your index finger like so or you can wear it on your middle finger and I just absolutely adore this ring you guys cannot wait okay cannot wait it's so pretty it shines so beautifully i mean these look like real diamonds i mean seriously tell me they don't if you do you're tripping girl so those are all the italo pieces that i was sent over but like i said before i wear their jewelry all the time if you follow me on instagram you would know that um i don't just show you guys the pieces and just throw them out you know what i'm saying i actually wear these all the time and i have not had any issues i actually can clean my eternity um bands as well with jewelry cleaner and they sparkle and shine like new and then of course i polish the band as well so i just love their pieces make sure to check out that description box i'll have everything linked down below for you guys and let's go ahead and move on to some of the other pieces that i've picked up okay guys so since we're talking fine jewelry i have one fine jewelry piece and then i have a couple of like designer jewelry pieces that I want to show you. So the first fine jewelry piece is from Cartier. I was recently in Chicago and I went to the Cartier store and I was able to pick up a ring that has been on my wish list for quite some time. So you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, okay, I made my way on over to Cartier and I'm super excited I actually picked up a piece that has been on my wish list for quite some time um, I just wasn't sure about the size and all of that so I wanted to make sure that I tried it on and before we even get into it you'll see you do get like your certificate here and it comes really nicely um, packaged in this envelope. The experience in Cartier was amazing. Um, of course, because of COVID, you do have to make an appointment, but I didn't have an issue with that. Um, they saw me as soon as I came in. They were very helpful, showed me every single piece, even pieces that I was trying on that was like $20,000 that I wasn't gonna be buying. Um, she was very just, you know, nice and helpful. So I appreciated that. Anyway, here is the certificate that you do receive with each one of your jewelry pieces from this brand. 
So you definitely want to keep that because these do have, you know, good resale value and it helps to keep the value if you have everything that goes with it. So here is the box. We love a red box, don't we? I'll go ahead and open this up for you guys. And it is one of those like fold down boxes. And this is the actual box that the piece of jewelry is housed in. So to open the box, I'm sure you guys are familiar with Cartier boxes, but you just push on this little gold button here and it releases so you can open it. And the jewelry piece that I picked up is the Justin Clue ring in gold. And this is the small size. So I was not sure if I wanted to get the thicker one or this smaller one. Um, but when I tried them both on, I really did like the thick one, but I didn't feel like I could stack as much with that piece. So I went ahead and went with this smaller one and I absolutely am obsessed with this ring. And this is how it looks on like, guys, how pretty is that? So I got this ring specifically to wear on this finger. However, I can wear it on my middle finger. No problem, very comfortable, okay? It is a very comfortable fit. Um, it's a little larger on my ring finger, but I could do it if I wanted to stack. So I absolutely love this ring, you guys. Like it's everything, okay? It's everything. And you know, I have my Tiffany's piece on this side. So I tend to wear more of the silver. I'll mix like one gold piece over here. Um, but I wanted something that was kind of similar, right? So it has that same kind of wraparound feel, which this is like the nail. And this is just, I don't know, Elsa Peretti collection. Um, so I like that it matches, but it doesn't. So it's giving me like an eclectic vibe on my fingers. That's kind of the vibe I'm going for when it comes to mixing my jewelry. I definitely want to mix my metals um, and also kind of like have an eclectic kind of vibe going on when it comes to my rings, bracelets that I am building up and things like that. So because I do like pretty dainty pieces. I'm able to do that without it being overkill. But of course you want to choose the right pieces to go. So I would not wear this piece. Um, but if I was like, I would do this, right? I would totally do this. I may add like a gold band over here as well, just to mix it up and maybe like a silver band on this side. But I absolutely am obsessed with the Cartier ring and I got a size 52 um, and it fits me like I said perfectly I can wear it on multiple fingers so if you guys are interested in sizing I did get a size 52 so obsessed see now I kind of want to keep this one on so am I overdoing it so I feel like I'm kind of overdoing it but I'm just gonna throw this Atalo ring on this side and we're gonna keep it moving <laughs> and I know some people are a bit weird about pricing but I find it helpful when people tell me the price. So the price for this ring was $1,120. And I think I paid a little bit more for my Tiffany's ring or about the same. But the reason is this has dime, Tiffany diamonds in it and this is just a solid gold piece. So, you know, it is pretty pricey. Obviously you can get solid gold rings for a lesser cost, but I wanted this one and it's everything. Guys. Okay guys, so moving on, I did stop by Chanel and I picked up a piece. Now, I did go in looking for the earrings that everybody and their mom has. Of course, they were sold out. They did have the Chanel like drop down earrings that had Chanel. Um, I thought about those. And then they also had a um, brooch that I was looking at as well. But when she brought this piece out, I was like, you know what girl, she's the one. And I guess I was just feeling real extra that day. So here is the box. I've already taken the ribbon and everything off. I love the way she packaged everything though. She gave me two camellias, so we love that. And this is like the tag for the item. And this is how it comes packaged. So you get like this little thing and let's open it. You guys, how gorgeous, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw me trying this on, but you wasn't, you know, you didn't know if I actually picked it up. So I like how it's snapped in here. The packaging is really good. Like, I think they make this packaging like for YouTubers because how good is an unboxing from Chanel? It's so good. All right, so now that I got it out the box, this is the piece that I got. And I love this, you guys. This is the Chanel dog tag necklace. And it's just a rope 
with the dog tags on the end. So on one side, it has Chanel 31 Rue Cambon Paris. And then on the other dog tag, it just has the double C's, okay? And the reason why I picked this up is because you guys, I had on a white shirt that day. And when I threw this on, girl, it was such a vibe, okay? Like you can wear it down like this tie it up, make it like a choker, let it hang. Obviously not what I have on today. Um, but it's just, it, to me, it's a bit versatile. You know what I'm saying? I really, really like this. Also, if you want to cheat, like if you don't have a Chanel belt, you can just put this through the first two loops of your jeans and let this hang directly in the front. So it won't go around your whole waist. I mean, unless you have a small waist it won't go around my waist but you can put it through like the first two loops and just let it hang on your jeans like that that will be really cute I mean you know I think it's a versatile piece and like I said when she pulled this out I was like I like how it's a statement yet still giving like very much so classic Chanel vibes I like that and even like if you wanted to wear this to work I don't know where you work, but like, let's say if you were wearing a nice suit, you can kind of put this under the collar. So just let them hang like so. I think that would be really nice and chic as well. So yeah, I got this because I just thought that it was cool. It was unique and it was just a statement piece. And I don't really do statement jewelry like that. So I was so excited when she brought this out because I was definitely going to buy something else. But this was the one and everybody said it was the one as well. So this is from the 20C collection and the retail on this is $725. I've already seen this on Fashion File going for over a thousand bucks. So, you know, resale on Chanel items are really good. Um, but yeah, 20C collection. And yeah, so if you guys do want to pick this up, that's the tag for you. So next up, I went by Dior and their Dior is so beautiful, you guys. I really enjoyed my um, time shopping in there. I had a few things on my list, but it was at this very moment that I realized that the tax in Chicago is 10%. And I said, you know what? No, 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 no. I'll just order things online. But this particular piece I had to get as soon as I saw it. I haven't even opened this. Obviously, I've seen it because I purchased it in store. But how cute is the packaging, you guys? Like, literally obsessed. So cute. If you love her, Dior her. Okay. So, let's open her up. I just love these boxes. They're so pretty. Can you guys guess what I possibly got? I've never talked about this item, but like I said, as soon as I saw it, it was a go, okay? It was a go. Okay, so this is how it comes packaged. You get like this little cloth and oh my goodness, you guys, how beautiful. I love this. So it comes like on this little hard piece. I have a necklace, obviously, and this snaps as well. So this is a little harder to unsnap. Give me a second. There we go. So I picked up this super cute, you guys. I mean, how adorable is this necklace? This is a Dior choker. I'm not even a pearl girl, you know? I'm not even that type of girl. But this, it was a must for me. As soon as I saw this, I said, absolutely, absolutely. Like, so you get the little pave star there and it says J'adore on there. I love it, J'adore. And you get the pearls. It's not too much pearl. And I like how it has like the vintage gold. I just saw this with my pink Dior, Lady Dior bag, my mini. I just thought that would be so cute. And I like that it literally fits me perfectly. Obviously, I already have a necklace on, but I'll try it on for you guys. So this is how it looks on. I just, I'm obsessed with this necklace, y'all. How cute is that? It's so girly. It's so girly, right? I just, I love this. But my thoughts for this, you know, it's fall now. I mean, last week it was 80 degrees. Today it was actually like 75. But this weekend is going to be, the high is going to be 60. Anyway, my thoughts for this, of course, was fall. And you guys know when it comes to fall, I tend to wear a lot of darker colors. And I just thought that this would be so nice paired with my darker colors to give me that feminine touch. Um, so it's still going to be kind of like edgy, but 
this just adds a bit of a feminine touch because it has the pearls and it's a choker. It's just so cute. I'm obsessed with this little piece. And this is interesting because again, it's not something that I've been looking at wanting. But as soon as I saw this in the store, my boyfriend and I were both like, yep, that's the one. Wrap her up. Let's go. And again, the retail on this was $610. Not bad at all. I mean, I paid over $600 for my Louis Vuitton earrings. And that's a whole necklace and it's $610, of course, plus the 10% tax. But I just thought that that was like not too bad. You know, it was such a cute little piece. I had already kind of made my mind up that I wasn't really getting a bag or anything. And I thought this was a cute little piece to just add to my collection, a little keepsake, you know? I just thought it was so cute. I'm, I'm literally obsessed with this piece. It's always the pieces for me that have not been on my radar that I find and I'm just like over the moon about it. You know, just love, I love, love, love that necklace. And like I said, guys, my experience shopping in Chicago was everything. The sales associate at Dior even gave me a Dior pen, like a writing pen. I was stoked, okay? It'd be the free stuff for me. So we're done with jewelry. Um, I did pick up this little piece out of LV. And this is just some, this is nothing to write home about, but I've just been wanting one for a minute. And I finally found one that I thought was classic enough because you'll see why. So anyway, this is the box, okay? Little box. And I picked up, I think they call bandos scarf. This a little bando bandeau scarf. And I really liked this print. Um, I like the fact that you get the inverted LV and then you get the um you know regular monogram so I really like that you get both so I can wear this on my hair which I've already done I can wear this around my neck how cute yes give okay love that or I can wear it on my little handbags to add just like a little bit of something I just thought that this was cute I don't have one and I figured it was time for me to get one. Um, they have a black and white one that I really wanted, but I'm like, of course I wear black and white all the time, but I also want to be able to put it on my bags. And I didn't like how that looked on my bag. So yeah, this was not expensive at all. This retails for $195. So really good deal. Um, I had originally picked up the limited edition crafty one. And I love that. I absolutely love that print it's given like black is king vibes however comma um it did not look good with any of my bags and it honestly didn't look good on my head it was too orangey for my taste and i needed more of like brown tones you know so love that though and if you can get your hands on it do so because it's already reselling for like double the price so got me a little scarf so those are all the jewelry like a little accessory pieces now we have shoes and two bags left so let's go ahead and get into the shoes all right y'all so the first pair of shoes are from saint laurent and listen i've already talked about these in depth on my instagram but when i posted i think it was like um my hair video about my like ash blonde hair and you guys saw these shoes in the thumbnail and everyone was asking me what shoes they were so they are saint laurent and i have been on the hunt for these shoes for about mm, six months okay um so let's go ahead and get into these i've already worn these and these are definitely a statement shoe. Girl, look at these. Look at these, girl. Look at these, girl. Girl, girl, look at these. <laughs> Here they are, you guys. I picked up the Paige um, YSL shoe, Saint Laurent. And let me tell you about the whole dilemma with these, right? So I have liked these for quite some time. Before I was a little bit nervous to spend the coin on these um, because again, they're a statement piece and you guys know I'm more of a single sole sandal type of girl, um, a pointed toe pump type of girl. But the more I looked at these, the more I love them, okay? And I was just like, I really wanna get my hands on them. That's how it always works out for me. Like. I'll like something, but I don't pull the trigger. And then when I finally do want to pull the trigger, I can't find it anywhere. So I almost got bamboozled because I started doing my research online and I did find these. I found them on sale 
But y'all, the more I looked at the pictures, I was like, wait, something's different about this shoe, right? So these are called the page. And as you can see, they have a flare block heel, a really tall flare block heel. Y'all, I'm hitting like five, seven, five, eight in these and your girl is five, one, okay? Um, so, okay, listen, these are everything. And as you can see, they have a really thick platform. I am obsessed. Now the newer ones, they have revamped this style. They look very similar to the untrained eye, but the new style is called the Bianca and Guys, they just have like a regular block heel. It's not this like flared out type of 70s heel. And I just wasn't feeling that so much. I just felt like, <sighs> hear me out. I feel like when you go for such a statement, they stand the test of time longer. They become more of, um, you know, not so trendy because it's such a statement. So it's always okay to pull them out. The other ones just look like kind of typical thick platform block heeled sandals. And to me, it dated them just a bit. So, you know, it's kind of like only wear those when platforms are in, but because these are such a statement, I can wear them all the time. That's just my mind set but I mean it may not make sense to everyone I'm so happy I was able to find these um I actually got these from the YSL outlet okay score and I think I paid like four hundred dollars for these shoes such an amazing steal you guys I got the last ones now let me tell you about sizing because my girl Jerenica if you guys follow her Jerenica my C I believe um she did a full review on these. And when I called around, I was literally calling around to every single outlet store to see if they had these. And they had the ones like this with the flared heel, but they didn't have the color. And I wanted this brown color. So um, I finally found these in a size 38 and a half. Now, when I was speaking with the sales associate, I told he was like, well, what size do you normally wear? I told him I wear a 37 and a half. He was like, oh, these are going to be way too big. These run true to size. I absolutely would not get these if I were you. So, of course, I was discouraged. So I kept calling around and just trying to see if I could find them. Um, of course, they did the search for me on the computer, but I didn't trust it. I was still calling. So anyway, um, I kind of just gave up because I'm like, they only have a 38 and a half. And he's like, absolutely not. So I reached out to my girl, Jerenica, and I was like, hey, girl, what do you think about the shoes? Like, do you feel like they run true to size or what? And she said she has some in her actual size. Um, and then she also has some in a whole size up, right? So I was like, that means the 38 and a half may work for me. So I just called them. I was like, hey, I'll take them. You know, I'll just take a store credit if I need to send them back because that's the thing. They don't give you like a full refund. You'll get a store credit. So I was like, I'll take them. Just ship them out to me. If they don't work, you know, I can sell them or I'll just take the store credit. So he was like, OK, but I, I'm telling you, they're going to be too big. Y'all, when I got these, these things fit me so perfectly, like so freaking perfectly. I feel like if I would have gotten a size 37 and a half, they would have been too small. Um, I don't know. It's like these are perfect. So I recommend either getting a half size up or full size up, um, in my opinion. Now, over time, these may stretch out because of course they are real suede on the outside and then the inside is like real um, leather. But I'm so happy with the size that I picked up. And again, these are called the page platforms. When you Google these, you're going to see Bianca and Paige. Make sure you're getting the page if you want this flare heel. And even some of the ones that are called um, Bianca, they'll have the page picture, but when you receive them, they will be regular block heels. So just keep that in mind, but so happy I was able to score these and at an amazing cost. And I love how they wrap around the leg. They're just so good guys, so good. Love these so much. And of course they make me tall. So of course I like them. So that was a long and drawn out story, right? Anyway, we're gonna move on to my next pair of shoes. And I picked up a pair of Bottega Veneta's. And these, you guys, I've been having my eye on for a while. Style. But the thing, let's just talk about Bottega for a second because I absolutely adore Bottega, right? But I, I have um, one pair of shoes, you know, the mesh heel pumps. I have those and I love them so much. But the thing about the Bottegas is that I feel like they do have classic pieces, but because they just keep coming with heat so often, it almost makes it 
not so classic because every new piece is a is a hitter. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't get your one piece that just lasts forever and ever through the, you know, times or whatever. I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel about it. But anyway, um, I've been having my eye on these for so long. Now, I have a few Bottega dupes um, as far as heels and bags dupes. But when I saw these and these came out, I was like, you know what? I have to have these because to me, they're very true to the brand. Um, and I'll show you why. So I was able to grab these on super sale. And I'm obsessed because it's really hard to get Bottega on sale. So this is what you get. You open it up. You get two dust bags. And we love that. This is the old packaging, I think. Maybe. Because isn't the new packaging green? Or is that just for the bags? Huh. Not sure. Anyway, guys. Can you see these? O-M freaking G. You guys, I picked up... Oh my goodness, let me get them out. Guys, here they are. Oh, and they are showing up so chocolatey and beautiful. Oh, you just want, don't you want to bite them? You just want to bite them, girl. I know you do. Um, these are the Bottega Veneta Litos, okay? Now, I have been obsessed with these. These are a statement, again, a very much so a statement shoe. And the retail on these are $1,270. I, I just could not. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it's a no for me, but I do love these shoes. These are definitely like the fashion girl shoes, okay? Um, Monroe Steele, if you guys follow her here, she has a couple pairs of these. And I know Bottega is super comfortable um, because of the shoes that I have. And I've just tried on other pairs, but these here I've been wanting for so long. I wanted the white. Then I thought, oh, should I get the periwinkle blue? Then I saw the new Kiwi Co. And I was like, oh, I like that too. Then I saw the orange. I just could not make up my mind. But still wasn't going to pay the $12.70. Let me just be honest and real with you. The Lux Hunt posted these, okay? And when I tell you the Lux Hunt, if you follow the Lux Hunt on Instagram, you know everything she posts or he, I don't know who runs the account, sells out within minutes. So usually every time I go, it's, it's too late. I think it was at the 25 minute mark. And I was like, oh. It's only one pair. I missed them. Went on to the website. These came from Coltorti. Okay. I never shot with them before, but I do trust the Lux Hunt. Anything that they put out, I do trust the, you know, I do trust that it will be authentic. So anyway, clicked. They had these in a size 38. I am a 37 and a half. And I do find that Bottega shoes run true to size, but I was willing to do it. And these are like slide ins too. From some people, I've heard that they run narrow. I don't agree with that, but this 38 does fit me nice, but I can do a 38 when it comes to luxury purchases or European sizing. So yeah, guys, I picked these up in the chocolate brown color. Now this, I tried on the quilted brown pair last year and I was like, I don't know about the brown. I just feel like it blends too much into my skin tone. All of you guys were like, you need to get the brown pair. So when I saw these and they have this like very much so classic quilting, I had to grab them. Not only because to me, these are very true to the brand. Look at the detailing. Can you see that? The detailing on these shoes, they're so soft and comfortable. And you guys know they have that grip at the bottom, which makes them comfortable. And the heel height is not too high either. But when I saw these, I had to grab them. And I was not mad at the brown color because these are so extravagant on top. They stick up away from my skin. So it's not so much like blending in. You know, it's still a statement. And I love these. You guys know chocolate brown is huge on trend um, this season for fall and winter. So these are going to go perfect with every single thing. I can even wear it with this shirt. Throw on a, ba a brown bag and you're good to go. I am literally... I can't say it enough. I'm obsessed with these. I'm looking for any and every opportunity to just throw these on and hit it, okay? So I haven't worn them yet, but I've been walking around the house in these and they're everything. I ended up paying, okay, so here's the thing with the price. These were on sale for $700. And then, um, I, okay, yes. These were on sale for $800. 
they had a coupon code for 15% off. So that's already, 800 is already like $400 less than the retail. Then I had a 15% off coupon code to use. So that took additional money off. And then I think they do add tax. I cannot remember if they add tax, but here's the gotcha gotcha. This place is located, I believe in Italy or somewhere overseas. And so once it came to me before they were delivered, I was charged custom duty charges, which was not bad. I think I paid $30. So I think in all, I ended up paying like $790, 800 for these. Not bad, including the customs. But um, when I checked out, of course, it was like 700 and something dollars, a steal. And it's so hard, like I mentioned before, to get these on sale. Even when retailers have sales like Farfetch and Luisa Villaroma, they don't allow you to use the codes on these. So when that code went through, you know I snatched these up super quick. So obsessed with these. If you've been thinking about them, grab them, girl. They're super comfortable. Um, I love them. And I know that they're not for everybody, but it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I have been on the hunt for a pair of Amina Mawadis for the entire year. Okay, the entire year. And again, I just refuse to pay full price for certain things. It's just me. I know I'll spend money on a lot of stuff, but just certain things I'm like, I'm not paying full price for it. Any hoodle, picked up a pair of Amina Muwadis, and this is the box that they come in. And I was very particular. I wanted the Gilda. Um, I didn't really care about the color, but I definitely wanted the Gilda. And I found these in, these are called Glitter Mermaid, right? So on the website, they show up like a soft, minty, aqua teal. Okay, let me, let me show y'all what I got. So you gotta like pull the shoe out. It's really difficult to get into this box, y'all. And the magnetic closure don't play. So anyway, this is how it comes. Let me open it up. Love her dust bags, okay? Amina, Amina's one of the girls. So she knows what we like to see. You open it up and you get this blush pink satin dust bag. I mean, so beautiful. I'm obsessed. The color, the fabric is everything, okay? It's everything. Y'all, this is what I ended up getting. I said, what is that? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> anyway, so I did find the Gilda and I was like, what? These are on sale. Snatched them up super quick. Uh, Y'all, this is what they look like. They're not the tr they're not true to the color. This shoe already can kind of lean a bit mature because of the style, but it's all about like the colorway and of course how you style them. This color is just, uh, I don't wear this color at all. Like this is a very like far out color for me. Okay, so these were on sale. I think these retail for like $1,200 as well. And I ended up getting these for $500. So it was a complete steal. And, but the color, like, you know, it has a typical Amina Mawadi flare heel. Love that. Um, I got these in a size 37 and a half. They fit just perfectly. Definitely could have gone up to a 38, but I wasn't going to be picky. This was the last pair. And y'all, I'm just not feeling this color. So I'm probably going to send these back like tomorrow. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, it's a steal. They resell for an amazing it's so like it's dang near impossible to get your hands on a pair of Amina Muwadis. Um, they're just always sold out. But this color is just not even hitting. And I've been having these for a couple of weeks and still I just don't see myself wearing them. So, you know, that's $500 I can have back in my bank account. Too. So, yeah, these are those. What do you think? Let me know. Um, the color is just not the one for me. And it's different than what I saw online. So here is my last pair of shoes. These are by Balenciaga. As you can tell, I love Balenciaga, especially in fall and winter. I am definitely... A Balenciaga girl okay Balenciaga to me just does like uh I don't know femininity like feminine edgy so well it's it's good um their stuff is kind of industrial so your dust bag is not going to be anything like to write home about I picked these up from my Teresa I believe and I think they jipped me on one of the dust bags but it is what it is because again they were on sale and I picked up, guys, can you see this? Oh my goodness, look at the color. You can already see the color. You can already see the color. Y'all, 
I know they're not for everybody girl they're not these are the square knife pumps in the 120 heel height or 100 heel height they do have a lower heel height that is not the one especially when you have this beak of a front you need the high heel and these are so comfortable you guys one thing about balenciaga's um shoes the heels are so comfortable i think this is like my third pair so absolutely love these i've been wanting these for quite some time but because they were this this neon color i like the green I like the pink i was just a bit unsure i'm like am i really gonna wear these but when i saw these on sale they were on sale for 500 i think in 37 dollars plus they had an additional 20 percent off let me tell you how my teresa tried it though so i picked these up i actually bought my mom some balenciaga boots for her birthday and I picked these up for myself. Y'all, why did I purchase everything? Everything went through, snatched the money out of my account. Then they said, oh, these, these are defective. So we have to give you your money back, right? And this was the last seven and a half. I got a 37 and a half. Balenciaga runs extremely true to size, in my opinion. Um, so I was like, dang, I really missed out on that great deal. Girl, why as soon as they refunded me my money, they were quick about refunding me my money. Please tell me why the next day these were back on the site in a size 37 and a half. And guess what? They did not have the additional 20% off. Oh, you know, I called. Oh, you know, I called. I said, wait, um, they had one pair of the 37 and a half. I purchased them with the additional 20% off. It went through. I was refunded my money and told that they, these were defective. Now they're back on the site. No, give me my coin, okay, and my shoe. So they went ahead and processed it again and sent these out to me. And I don't see one defect on here, girl. Like, not one. Um, one thing I will say, if you're not used to walking in super pointed toe shoes, it can take some getting used to, okay? You do need a grip on these because they're super soft and like it's a leather sole and they're slick on the bottom. And being this long in the front does not help. But the way that I saw these style girl was with a nice suit or either they're all black or something. It's gonna it's gonna be a vibe. Now these are neon, so you know it is what it is. But I love these so much, and I'm so excited that I was able to get the deal. It's like it's it's almost like I beat the system or something. It seemed like there was an issue. They tried to rectify it, but I called up. You know, I had to call and be like, "Hey, girl, <laughs> don't do that." don't do that so in that same order i went ahead and so i also so because they were having that additional 20 percent off i did pick up a couple of hair accessories just two headbands one of these you guys saw on my live and you love this this is a ghani headband and it's beaded guys how beautiful so even this with those hot pink shoes is gonna be a vibe i know headbands are like not super super on trend but i love the trend so much that i'm going to continue to wear it and this one doesn't sit too far up on my head but it's still white love the color combo on this so had to pick this up and then i also picked up oh this fabric y'all okay this also came with a dust bag by lily sadohi lily sadohi i don't know girl do you see the jewels? Okay, beautiful. Like this is the softest velvet I have ever felt in my entire life. It's cream and it has the jewel detailing with, it has the gold around it. That's what I loved. So I thought this would be so beautiful, especially like with the real thick cream cozy knit in this. Come on girl, get into her. Get into her, she cute had to okay guys so my last bag and luxury item is this telfar bag now let's get into this telfar bag because if you know anything about this brand he is a black owned luxury brand they sell bags belts hats a few other things and it is dang near impossible to get your hands on one of his bags. They're literally always sold out. He now has this program where you can like buy it in advance, but people are waiting months to receive these bags. And honestly, he is in the mouths of every body and we love to see it. Okay. So when I was able to get my hand on this bag for retail, 
I had to grab it. Let me show you. Now, I will say, before I even open this, seeing this bag um, on others, I thought, you know, it was okay, but it really wasn't something that I had to, had to, had to have. Then I saw the gray color. It's like a taupe gray color. I was like, oh, I really like her. Could never get my hands on it. So I kind of gave up hope. And I'm like, I'm not one of those people that like goes to stand in line for anything like that. Like, that's just not my thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'll just let the girls have it. But again, when I was able to get my hands on one of the bags for retail, I said, you know what? Let me just get a bag, no matter the color, and just, you know, see how I like it. And then, of course, I can invest in more because, of course, I wanted to support this brand. So here is the bag. Yes. So here it is, guys. This is the Telfar bag. And I got the small size. And I think this is in pool blue or something like that. And I will say, I just, um, um, I wasn't expecting this material. So of course I knew that it was vegan leather, um, which I'm okay with, you know, and I just wasn't expecting this material. I expected it to be a little bit more substantial, I would say. So it doesn't stand up on its own, as you can tell. This is the bottom. Um, but once it's stuffed, you know, it looks cute. It's like a little bag, as you can see, once it's stuffed. But without anything in it, it's a little underwhelming. But again, it wasn't a bag that I just was like, oh my gosh, I have to have. But when I saw that gray color, I was like, yes, that's the one. Um, so I did like this blue color though, because I thought this would look really good with chocolate brown for the season. Um, but I'm not sure about this guys. I asked you guys on Instagram, I did like a first impressions and all of y'all said that it wasn't it. But of course, you know, I feel like this is like a brand new brand. And over time, the construction and probably materials will even get better over time. And the resale on this, people are selling this for double the price, which I don't think that's fair because he specifically makes luxury um, pieces to be affordable so that our community can afford them, you know, or those who, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. So anyway, this is the bag. Um, it does have a crossbody. I'm not going to undo this part because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. And it is a top handle as well. You guys know I love a top handle. It does have a snap closure there. You get the tag on the inside. And the inside here is like a, um, I don't know, canvas nylon kind of material. One thing I will say is that this material does seem durable and like water resistant almost. It reminds me almost like a vinyl, you know? And so the retail on this is $150, so very affordable. Um, but I don't think that this is quite my vibe. But you guys let me know what you think about this bag. Of course, it's not stuffed with anything. So, you know, it's not much to see. But what do you guys think? Should I keep this bag? I think it is like something to keep for like a keepsake of course black luxury brand doing big things right now um and you know why not like of course we want to support that but I just wonder would I wear this you know what I'm saying so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below you do get the tell for um emblem here on the front in the back is just plain and yeah it's just a little bag and it comes in three sizes so they have small medium and large um i think the medium and large totes would be great for work bags because again this seems pretty durable um and like water resistant almost so if you're like rough with your bags or if you just need something to kind of like haul to work um to and from i think that that would be a good option but of course i had to get the mini bag y'all know how i feel about mini bags so this is it. All right, guys. So that is the end of my luxury accessories haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out that description box. Everything that I can find will be linked. Remind yourself that I did get a lot of these things on sale. Okay. Um, but the Atalo jewelry will definitely be linked down below. And anything, like I said, that I can find, I will link it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.